As a part of their 2021 virtual winter programming, the Ohio State University Extension Beef Team was privileged to host University of Kentucky Livestock Marketing Specialist Kenny Burdine via Zoom on January 26th. In this three-minute segment from that presentation, Burdine details why the market rewards us for steers over bulls nearly all the time. Don't stop doing the little things. Here's a simple one. You know, Sears, Sears versus Bulls. Um, you know, it was funny when the market was really high in 2014 and 15, had a lot of folks tell me, you know, Kenny, they're paying that much for a bull calf. I'm not going to bother cash right and selling Sears. And then I hear the same thing when the calf market's low. Gosh, they're not paying for this. I'm not going to do it anymore. Um, one of the more common questions that I get from folks will be something related to Sears versus Bulls. And they'll call me and they'll be about half mad. And I'll say, can you tell me why bulls are out selling steers at blank market? And what's inevitably happened is they've probably sold a group of steers. And sometime, you know, while they're at the yard, they saw a similar group come through, similar weight of bulls that sold for the same price or better. And that's going to happen from time to time. It absolutely is. I went back, though, when I pulled every monthly price, steers and bulls, state average, 550 pound weight category from January of 2010 to December of 2020. So I've got 11 years worth of data here. There was not a single month, month mind you, okay, when bulls actually outsold steers the same weight. On average during that time period, the difference was $11.14 a hundred weight, which means if I've got a bull calf and a steer calf that weighed the exact same, they both weighed 550 pounds, they ran through the yard side by side, the steer outsells the bull by $61.27. Okay, so for false precision, that this, it's a silly round number, I think 60, 65 bucks. Okay, now a legitimate question that you may have is, well, won't bulls outweigh steers? And the answer is, yeah, they probably will. Okay, so I like to kind of quantify it this way. How many more pounds does that bull have to weigh to offset that price discount? Now, Understand additional pounds are not worth the sale price. If the average price for 550 pound steer is $1.50, another 100 pounds isn't worth $1.50 each, right? Because the price slide. As I add more pounds, that price comes down. So 80 cents to a dollar is a pretty good rule of thumb where value gain is in most markets when I count for price slide. So in a fairly high value of gain market, that bull's got to outweigh that steer by 62 pounds, meaning if that bull weighs 550, I'm sorry, yeah, if, if that steer weighs 550, that bull's got to weigh 612 to offset that difference. In an 80 cent market, which is probably frankly more close to normal, he's got to outweigh that steer by 77 pounds, which is a tall task. And unless you're in a market where you cannot use, if you're in a natural market where you're being paid for natural and cannot use implants, they provide an option as well because you can get kind of the, you can get the bull gain and still have the steer price. So look at your options. The market absolutely rewards us for steers versus bulls most of the time.